Hello, friend, and what a glorious day it is to be able to come back into your presence to share with you coffee and conversation, a ray of hope coming to you from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. Hey, get you a cup of coffee, sit with me for just a moment, let's encounter the truth of God's Word together. A great way to get a good day started, a fresh cup of hot coffee. Well, today, my friend, I want to bring to you a devotion I've titled Being Sober. Now, the word sober means not to be affected by alcohol or substances or to be clear-headed. In Romans chapter 12, verse 3, Paul is writing and he says, For I say, through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly according as God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. You know, my friend, when I begin to think about the word sober, it brings to mind the thought of alcohol or drunkenness or substances abusing our lives. However, we can come, uh, or we can rather become, inebriated with other things than alcohol or drugs or substances. You see, we can become gr drunk with greed. We can be caught up in anger and hostility. We can let our minds be filled with vile thoughts, ripping our soul to pieces. Being sober means that you do not let yourself run away from the Lord. You see, my friend, being sober means that you maintain your self-control, that you maintain your self-discipline in all things and in all circumstances, and you do this with all people. Now, I know people sometimes can get on your nerves, and can really cause you to want to think hostile things because people will always be people. Uh, I know that because I'm a person. But let me just say this to you, my friend. We need to be sober in all circumstances with all people. My friend, listen to me. You bless God and God blesses you when you remain stable and self-controlled and sober in your thoughts and deeds. Pray with me. Father, today how grateful we are that you can give us sober living by keeping our eyes upon you. And Father, help us not put anything into our bodies that would cause us not to be clear-headed, but that would cause us to run wild. And Father, I pray that we'll always look to you, the author and finisher of our faith, to help us overcome any obstacle or even person that we may have to deal with. And Lord, we'll give you thanks and praise for your blessings now in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, friend, go out into your world today to see if you can make a big difference. Remain sober. Stay focused upon the Lord. Let others see the Lord Jesus in you. Hey, it's your life that can be the only Bible that some will ever read. So let others see Christ in you. Have a great day.